three big reasons we decided to go with Node and Netflix is that one, you know, JavaScript is really the lingo frank of the web today. And we have a lot of engineers, whether that's front end or even on the back end, who already know it. And so that's a big helping sort of its uptake because folks already know the language and that makes it easy for them to learn the runtime. Secondly, it's extremely performant. So for us, as such a big shop with lots of scale, um, <clears throat> the more performance something is, the, uh, the better we are at controlling cost and save a lot of cost on the infrastructure. And lastly, uh, it's really around the, in the modules ecosystem. For us, uh, we don't really want to have to invest in reinventing the wheel every time. So if there's a great suite of modules that help us get our work done, th that's a huge boon for us as well. The biggest feedback we've gotten from engineers working um, and crafting API endpoints on this new stack is how much easier it is to write, debug, and just generally speaking, engineer um, the API. Because with Node and JavaScript, the way that the way that it's lightweight and, and the fact that you can run it locally means that you can easily debug and troubleshoot problems as they arrive. One of our biggest takeaways from running the shadow traffic test is the realization that in, in the future, uh, Node will become a big part of our ecosystem. At Netflix, we don't just use tools because they're popular. We use them because they're the right tools for the job. Mm -hmm.